Oh my god, no fuck. What is going on boys and girls and welcome back to another video. Your boy Javi here. For all the new guys to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Guys, I've been going back and forth with YouTube. I don't know what is going on. Videos are kind of like going up and down. The YouTube shorts are like getting views. They don't. It's just weird. Uh, the one thing that I can ask for you guys who are enjoying the content and enjoying this, you know, the videos of me working on the car, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying it. And make sure to hit the notification bell. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss any video because I do get people who tell me all the time, "Man, your videos are not popping up." Well, if you don't hit the notification bell, you're definitely not going to get notified that I put up a video. So make sure you do that and hit the like button if you guys are liking the content. It takes a lot of time and effort to do this, so that's pretty much what almost every YouTuber will ask as a support. And anyways, thank you guys for coming in. So all for the new guys who just came into the channel, it is your boy Hobby Vibes, working on a 2002 Ford Mustang GT, Premier GT. And today we're gonna be installing the rear glass lower uh, molding. And that, it's actually, to me, a Mustang killer. And I wanna explain to you why is that way and why you need to do this ASAP if yours looks anything like mine. Let's get into the video. All right, so what we have here is the bottom lower molding. This is the one that goes in the back glass. If yours looks anything like mine, how you see is separated from the glass, how it just looks, this will literally kill your Mustang. You need to do this ASAP or your trunk will rust and the water's gonna get, get in through the channels and will cause some rust. This car has some rust and we're gonna take care of that today. So it's pretty easy. You just pretty much pull it out but we're gonna open the trunk. I already showed you guys. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the rust. It's not much. I have the metal grinder there to, the metal brush there to take to take it off and we're just gonna get working on it. And hopefully with the new molding, everything should come out real nice. Everyone knows how much I hate rust and this is what we got going on. This is what happens when that molding, it's no bueno and then you got the water coming in, kind of running in through the channels and just kind of messing everything up. So. We're going to be hitting this with a metal grinder, a uh, metal toothbrush, that, uh, toothbrush uh, the, the brush that I have, the metal brush that I bought. And we're definitely going to hit it with like some paint for the anti-rust. And since this is covered up, it's no big deal. We don't have a lot on the other side. We don't have actually at all on the other side, just this and this right down here. So we're definitely going to hit that too. Everyone knows how much I hate rust, so we're definitely going to get that. We're going to tackle that and uh, we'll go from there. All right, boys. So... Let's get to work on the car. I got a vacuum cleaner here. Gonna vacuum all that stuff. I got the drill here with the metal brush. And I got a mask on because I definitely do not want to inhale any of that. So let's go ahead and start vacuuming first. I've hit it pretty much almost everywhere. I still wanna go a little bit more. I'm charging the vacuum now just so I can vacuum it a little bit. I just got on Amazon and I ordered the Pour 15 because I wanna do half of the trunk, kinda of like going all around it. Like if you follow the curve of the trunk going around it, I wanna do Pour 15, even though I'm gonna replace that molding, I just wanna make sure that none of this, uh, you know, gets infected with any more rust or any other stuff. I am gonna prime rate, I'm gonna buy the uh, primer that is advanced auto part which is the anti-rust primer we are going to primer all of this and then we are going to hit it with the pour 15 pour 15 should be here on friday but we're going to go ahead and knock out the molding now now for the molding we're just going to go ahead and pull forward on the molding we're going to pull kind of backwards like this and we're going to get it out of there as you can see this one coming apart here and you can see how i had even some water in there uh, just kind of getting in there this is all breaking out if you got a molding like this, you need to replace this ASAP. American Muscle will supply you with the molding. Let's kind of pull it. And this is pretty much how that molding came out. As you guys can see, all broken up. Now I do have the super clean right here, which I'm gonna hit all that with. And we're gonna go ahead and clean all that because that looks pretty disgusting. We're gonna go ahead and hopefully 
install the other one with no problem. My hands are on fire, boys. I've been going at this with the wire brush the whole day. So this is the sound depth or deafening, whatever you call it. It's all over here and I'm trying to remove it with the wire brush. I could have bought the dry ice and done it in like two seconds it would have came out, but I was already here and I got the vacuum. So I just been kind of taking my time going little by little. We can see the rust here, the surface rust. So we still got to hit all that. I bought the POR 15 or the POR 15. So we're going to do the whole half how I mentioned. So we still got to continue. There's a little bit right there also that I got to hit and just going to continue to remove the sound uh, dampener or whatever you call it. I can't even say that right now. We still got some here that we got to hit. So we'll continue with that and uh, hopefully we can get it painted later on today. All right, boys, I just got the POR 15, the POR 15. This should be enough for the whole trunk, but we're just going to go ahead and do that side. Um, other than that, buddy over here, like always. But we're going to go ahead and start putting this on. We're going to hit it with the metal prep and go from there. All right. Well, this is the first coat. Still got to go like two or three coats on it. Um, we still have to do a little bit more towards the back. But that's pretty much what it's going to be for now. Um, for further down the line, probably next week or the week after that, I'm going to go ahead and remove everything else here from the side, from all this side here. And then actually do the complete trunk i just wanted to get this part here done because this was the worst part that had a little bit of that surface rust there and i wanted to take care of that so that's about it we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and then do all this stuff here more detailed when i do the second quote so yep all right boys so we are pretty much done with the car today i went ahead and gave it a second coat came out pretty good came out really good actually came out amazing um i'm just gonna leave it dry overnight now but for future down the line, we are going to go ahead and do the complete trunk with POR 15, POR 15, because I want to make sure that if any little surface rust that's there, I could take care of it. That's what happens when you don't change that rear, bottom, lower molding. That's what happens. You get water into the channels and eventually they end up down in the trunk and that's what happens. So if you're, you know, car guys that they just don't know about it, they won't never do it. So it came out pretty good. The idea for it was to me to tackle that part which was the worst of it was just for me to get the POR 15 or the PR 15 in there as soon as possible so I can stop that whole rust virus or whatever you want to call it from spreading so I only did that half of it so what I am going to do next week is completely remove everything from the trunk take everything out and then go ahead and do the trunk with a complete POR 15 but I want to just let it heal for tonight and see how it comes out just because this is the first time me doing it ever with the POR 15 so Anyways, if you guys are liking the Mustang content, all I ask for you guys is to hit the like button and the subscribe. If you guys are enjoying it, please hit the notification bell. It goes a long way to help your boy out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Your boy is out.